Hello, welcome back to Health Score. Today we are in the section for nutrition. We're talking about seafood. The recommendation is to consume two servings of seafood rich in omega 3s each week. This is the equivalent of 2,000 milligrams of omega 3 fatty fish per week. There's good evidence for the benefits of seafood rich in omega-3s. Two servings of seafood per week rich in omega-3s results in a significant reduced risk in premature death. How exactly does that happen? The two omega-3s we're talking about are EPA and DHA. And these two polyunsaturated fats are found in fatty seafood. They've been shown to reduce risk of fatal heart rhythms as well as plaque buildup that can lead to heart attacks. One caution about seafood is that it can be high in mercury. So when we're talking about finding seafood that's rich in omega-3s, the footnote is that we're also looking for seafood that is not high in methylmercury. Methylmercury is a neurotoxin that can be damaging and especially is unsafe for pregnant women. So how do we achieve this goal? First step is to define a goal, which is two servings or 2,000 milligrams of omega-3 rich seafood per week. A serving is what fits on a palm or three ounces. Next step is to plan for the month. So what I do is I've identified the five seafoods that are the highest in omega-3s, and you can remember them by the acronym SMASH. S for salmon, M for mackerel, A for anchovies, S for sardines, and H for herring. I aim to get two servings of this seafood per week. What I usually end up doing is I'll have a six ounce serving of salmon. And then I'll have on one other day, I'll have one of these smaller fish that are high in omega threes. And you can see that easily achieves the goal of at least 2000 milligrams per week of omega threes. I can buy all sorts of seafood and canned seafood from the supermarket because um, buying it canned or frozen allows me to keep it for a long time as opposed to buying fresh seafood, which I have to cook immediately and go grocery shopping for more than once a week if I plan to eat it more than once a week. So I stick with um, frozen and canned seafood, and I always get wild. And you can see I'm avoiding the king mackerel, the... Um, swordfish and shark that are in tile fish that are all higher in methylmercury. So ma mer mackerel here is not the king mackerel, which is high in methylmercury. This is the Atlantic mackerel. And these are some of my meals that I've used these foods, these fish to uh, prepare. Salmon, sardines, anchovies. I've especially found that anchovies, this little jar here, if I put in tomato sauce, there's no smell of fish. It just makes great tomato sauce. And anchovies. I have recipes for all of these that you can look at in the recipe section. For the salmon, I'll, I'll use a Cuisinart griddler to grill sea, salmon. For these smaller fish, and actually for the herring, I'll use the uh, griddler. But for the smaller fish, the mackerel, the sergeant, and the anchovies, I mix them into a saute that I'll have on the skillet. If you're vegetarian or you absolutely will not eat seafood, you can use 250 milligrams of omega-3 supplements. This is better than nothing, but the research shows that actually getting the seafood rather than the pill form is, has the more evidence for having a benefit for health. 
The other reason I encourage people to eat seafood and not just take it as a pill is because for a lot of people it means substituting um, out red meat or um, and if you can substitute red out red meat and replace it with seafood, you're better off than continuing to eat red meat and just supplementing with a fish tablet. So I hope this recommendation has been helpful. Again, it's two servings of omega-3 rich seafood to achieve at least 2000 milligrams of omega-3s per week. We discuss the benefits of a diet rich in omega-3s. We discuss the importance of avoiding seafoods that are high in mercury. We've talked about what a serving size is. I gave you some suggestions about which of the, of the top five um, omega-3 sources that are low in mercury, the smash seafoods. I've showed you some um, pictures to illustrate how you can prepare these foods and you can check in the recipe section for specific steps for meal preparation. And then once again, we talked about how you can use uh, omega-3 supplements as a um, alternative to seafood if you absolutely can't tolerate seafood and if you continue to maintain limits on your red meat consumption. Hope you have a great day and thank you for your time.